would appear as if someone has had a magic wand with our weather because it changes <laughs> about every 12 hours or so. It's nice. It's cold. I'm freezing. It's hot. Right. Make up your mind, November. <laughs> and let me set the record straight. I do not own a magic wand. I, I cannot so. magically okay. change the weather Good as to hear much you as say that. you'd like for me to do that, right? <laughs> I'll tell you what, those Potter movies are on in our house all the time. Every time you flip through the channels, it ends up landing on one of those. We have, of course, some really nice weather to look forward to in the next couple of days because we're going to continue with this up and down in temperatures and we're on the upswing folks. Here is Greensboro with the sun going down. Blue skies leads to clear skies and that leads to chilly mornings across our region. Right now the temps on their way down are in the 40s with 46 in North Wilkesboro, 43 in Elkin and Yakinville and 47 in Stewart. We've got Yanceyville at 45 degrees, Asheboro at 46. Tomorrow morning temperatures in the mid to upper 30s. So you'll definitely need to have a jacket or maybe even a sweater on in the morning, but by afternoon you won't need it because check out these high temperatures along with some warm winds. We've got temperatures that are going to be close to 70 degrees by tomorrow afternoon with a high of 64 in the mountains. You see the warm air out to the west, St. Louis at 65, Nashville at 61 at this hour. So all of that warm air is going to scoot east ahead of a front. So we'll have more sunshine tomorrow as the clouds are still another day, day and a half away. I mentioned that wind that's going to pick up. It'll be out of the southwest, but it'll be a warm wind, 10 to 15 miles an hour, just a bit gusty out there. Noontime temperatures are in the mid 60s, so perhaps a good daytime lunch date is in your plans for tomorrow. You've got 63 at noon in the foothills with a high of 69 tomorrow afternoon in the mountains. We're going to be above freezing tomorrow morning. That's worth celebrating, right? Temperatures in the mid to upper 30s and then a high of about 64 tomorrow afternoon. Our map shows you mostly clear skies in the morning and through the day tomorrow. High temperatures are in the mid 70s down at Wilmington, Columbia at 77, Asheville in the mid 60s. Dry skies still early Thursday with some clouds kind of gathering down here to the southwest. Morning temps in the 40s and 50s. As we go through the day on Thursday, I do think it's going to stay pretty dry. We'll bring some showers into the mountains by afternoon and then likely bring at least a narrow line of showers into the central part of North Carolina and the triad by Thursday night. And that is all coming from these two weather systems. One has the rain, the other one has the cold air. So that cold air will start to come in on Friday. So this is a lot like yesterday, or I should say like last week, and also like last week, the rainfall totals are going to be a little low. So You'll be lucky if you get a few drops of rain, maybe a tenth of an inch to a quarter of an inch with the passage of this front, and then everybody has to experience the cold. So we'll be down below freezing by Saturday morning at 29. We've got some football games this week. Duke and the Louisville Cardinals. That is a Thursday night game at 7:30 in Durham. The rain should be just to the west. There's a small chance we'll get a shower in here before the game is over. Nighttime temps will be in the 50s. NC State is hosting Syracuse Saturday at 4. That is a pretty typical football day with some chilly air in place and some dry skies. There's your seven day forecast. We go up and then we're right back down.